Hello everyone. In today's video, I'm excited to go over a zap I created using Zapier where you have the trigger be the completion of an engagement agreement workflow that was built out using Gavel. And what it does is it triggers the action of creating or finding a contact in Clio. And then from there, creating a matter and associating that contact with that new matter. And then the last step would be that we want an email sent to our new client, letting them know whatever the next steps are that we need them to take in order to continue with our matter, maybe collecting different information, having them create their client portal, having them complete a bundle or whatever else in this particular flow, as I mentioned, we have the trigger being that the workflow is completed within Gavel. So within Gavel, I have this particular workflow here that makes it to where I can run this from scratch, meaning I can go in and type in the client's information from here and generate an engagement letter and have that automatically sent for DocuSign signature. Or I can actually use the data manager and use information that I already have from a previous workflow and push that information into this particular workflow to fill out the client information automatically. So that's what I'm going to do here. So I'm going to take some information that I already have about this person where the underlying variables that I created for that workflow are the same as those within the limited scope engagement agreement for their name and their address and things like that. I'm going to go ahead and say push into this particular workflow. You'll see that all the client's information section has already been completed. I can add any different pieces to the matter information. I can change the name here, but here I'm using a default value of SAH grant application. I'm going to say continue, and then I'm going to use a combo box here. So I have prepare application for the specially adapted housing grant. I can add more services that are going to be included, and then I can go through and put in any excluded services. I can use this drop down as well, um, and then I can add another. In this case, I'm just going to say that we're not going to be assisting with an appeal should the application be denied. I'm going to go ahead and continue. Now, because I'm going to continue here, I'm going to have that zap that's published automatically start. And in this particular case, there's going to be a new person that's going to be added and that's going to be Mary Jane Watson. So you can see that she wasn't there before. She's automatically been added as well as her email address. And we also now have a matter associated with Ms. Watson. Additionally, she's received an email from the zap that I created that's automatically sending her this information saying, complete these two steps so we can start on your SAH application. Hi, Ms. Watson. We look forward to working with you on this. We just need you to complete the following two steps before we can get started. And then she needs to go through these two pieces. Also in the engagement letter, because we have DocuSign integrated in here, I can say submit for signing, but I can first make sure that I have it the way that I want it here. And then I can say submit for signing. Once I say submit for signing, it's first going to be sent to this particular person who is the partner at the law firm. Um, and then I can say review document. From here, I can say continue and I can go ahead and start and sign this here. Um, I'll adopt and sign this particular one, and then we can finish. And once we've finished, now this is going to get sent over to our client for signature here, where they can review the document, they can adopt their signature, continue, start, and sign. We're going to go ahead and adopt and sign this one. We're going to finish, and then both parties are going to get the executed document, right? So from here, now that we have the completed document, we have that sent to both parties automatically where we can see the engagement agreement here. Um, what we can do is make sure that that person has now this email that was automatically sent through Zapier saying, go over here, complete your, um, your creating your client account. Um, and if you already have one, then you can sign in from here and so on. And then follow this link to start this bundle where you can also make your payment for this particular engagement or whatever else. So that's a flow that could work depending on, you know, what your processes are, but what we've already seen here is that you can use Zapier to have all of this happen automatically at completion of a particular workflow. If you instead wanted to have the trigger be that once the DocuSign process is complete, so you can make that be the trigger instead of the workflow in Gavel, um, but it's up to you. But the point being that you don't have to then manually go into Clio and manually go into your email to send these different pieces out. All you need to do is if you're going to have the trigger be a workflow completed in Gavel, 
then you're going to create a zap where you set this up to where you choose your workflow name, demo limited scope engagement agreement in my particular case, test it so that it can see and pull all the information that you have that you can use in the following steps. We'll continue with that selected record. You're going to have a find person contacting Clio be the next step. So when you want to add a step, you're going to search for the different tool that you're trying to use. In this case, you know, the first one would be Gavel. The next one would be Clio. And you're going to go through and configure it. You're going to say, I want to find a person contact um, here. And then you can say find by wildcard field, which means this can be things like email addresses and so on. You're going to use the search value from here to be their email address. So what it's doing here is it's going to search for someone you might already have in Clio. And if you don't have one in Clio and you need to create one, you're going to check this button here. And we're going to just map over those fields of going to custom, finding our prefix here. You're going to put in the first name. Take note of the ones that are required, first name and last name, for example. Um, and then we just go through, map everything over. If you wanted to add any other pieces here, you can. You're going to continue, and then you're going to have a next step where you would have a step called Create Matter in Clio. And then for that action, you want to have the client ID get pulled from that previous step, the find person contacting Clio. In my case, I'm going to use the ID. You're going to take that. Then you're going to also have your matter description, which in this case was in the workflow because I said data matter title. And then you can go through and give it a practice area. If you have that particular engagement agreement associated with a particular practice area, in this case, I put veteran. You can add all of these other pieces as you'd like, making it billable or not, open, closed, or pending, all sorts of different pieces. Um, that you can make to where all of this is already filled out and you don't have to do it every single time um, manually. And then the last step I have here is to send an email where the action here is that I have it sent to the contact email address for the person from the workflow. I have the from be an email address that is kind of the general one for our firm, for example, the from name, the reply to name, you can give it a subject, you could add different tokens or variables from previous steps here as well. So if you wanted to put Mary Jane, please complete these two steps so we can get started and so on. You can use those same variables within the body of the email here. And then I just tell them in this particular email, we look forward to working with you on this. We just need you to complete the following two steps before we can get started. Go here and create your client user account and go here and start your bundle where you'll be prompted to pay for your service at this particular time. And that's it. Once we receive your answers, we'll take it from there. So that's it from there. All you have to do is publish and make sure it's turned on. And so then every time you run that particular workflow, just know that it's going to run through all of these different pieces and create those different contacts and matters in Clio, as well as send that email out to the client. So as I mentioned, depending on how you want to have this set up, whether you're using the DocuSign integration or not, you can make it to where this is triggered when the workflow is completed in Gavel. Or you could also instead use a different trigger, which is a DocuSign trigger saying that when, you know, the envelope is completed, then I want you to run this particular workflow. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me at brittanyacromam.pro. I'm happy to always just go over any different questions or ideas. I hope this is useful and I'll see you in the next one. Bye everyone.